Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to explain how you can link an Excel spreadsheet into Word. So the first option is to go insert table and then you have this feature here, Excel spreadsheet. When you click on that, it will drop a spreadsheet into your Word document and the ribbon itself, as you can see there, changes to be that one that is Excel. So this is all Excel and then you use it however you want. So if I just quickly do some figures. So the benefit of doing this is that in Excel, I'll do Alt equals just to add up and press enter to add those up. It is quicker to do formulas, although you can do formulas in, in Word. It is quicker to do them in Excel and they are dynamic in Excel, whereas you do have to do F9 to update fields uh, for formulas in Word. If I just click away from that, not completely away. You can see you've got this Excel spreadsheet embedded into the Word document. Now if I click on this, if I start trying to resize this, what you do is you're reducing the font. So if you don't want it to be that big, you need to double click back into it and you need to adjust this little size control because that is the actual size of the embedded block if you like. And then click away from that and then you can see the Excel like that. And then if you don't want the, the lines showing there, again, double click back in. So you're back into Excel, go to view and get rid of the tick for grid lines. Click back outside and then you are there. It's still there, but you are no longer looking at the grid lines. So that's the first one. The next one is, even though my computer kept trying to do it, is to go into Excel itself, highlight the table, copy the table that you want, come back into Word, and just paste that Control V underneath, and that just drops it in as a Word table. You can see that there. That is a Word table symbol. Now, the danger with that one is that sometimes the thing is too big, it doesn't fit, you can spend a lot of time resizing it. So you could also use the Paste Special feature. If I go to Home, Paste Special, um, Paste Special, and you have these options. So if I bring that, that's what that's where it's on at the moment, but I could bring it in as a top option, which is an Excel worksheet object. If I click OK to that, it drops it in, and that is now, a, if I double-click on that, it should go to that Excel file and it does. Click away. Now, another option is instead of just pasting using Paste Special, I could use Paste Special like so and pick Paste Link. Now, this is a, a better option, I think. So now you've linked this spreadsheet. It looks the same as that. But if I go back into, into Excel and delete some of these, these figures, so the total's changed. And I'll just have to update this with an F9 key. So that would have updated normally when I reopened it. And sometimes it updates straight away. So you can see that this one is now updated. That one was just a dead copy, so it hasn't updated. So a paste special paste link will update. And that's a good little feature. Now, if you don't want it to come in like this with all this... Um, formatting with it you can do this if we go back into excel just undo that let's say i just want this cell this cell so i'm just copying one cell coming into word let's say i want some text so just do a bit of auto text and let's say that that figure needs to go at the end so i'll do paste special again and paste link paste special paste link and this is the one I'm going to pick, unformatted text. Okay, comes in like that. So the font is quite big compared to the one next to it. So you may have, may have to adjust the font in Excel, but it's again, it's linked. So if I go into Excel and change this again, that should get picked up in Word when I update it. Like so. So I just did F9 function key there to update that. But if you saved and closed the file, 
or save the file, it would automatically update. So that's so you can bring in unformatted text so you don't have all the grid lines and all the colours and the formatting on there. Obviously it's took the pound sign off as well. Oh, there wasn't a pound sign on that one, it's just a number. Now the next way that you can do it is you can go up to the Insert tab and you can go across to Object and select Object. So first of all, a blank object, this one. So that's the same as going insert table. So you're basically inserting an object. So that's the same sort of link. Now, if I close that down, in fact, I'll undo that control Z. The other way you can do that is if I go object, create from file. So it's one I've already got browse for it. So I go and browse for a, an Excel file. I'll go for this one. You can link it, but I'm not going to link it for this example, but you can link it, same as what I've done above with Pay Special. So this is going to bring in the first sheet of that file. And as you can see, it's coming quite large. So what you need to do here is just adjust it so it fits on the page. Now, many, many times I've been asked, um, how can you adjust this? So you can't bring five pages of Excel into one page of Word. It just doesn't work. But this one does. Now, if I double click onto this one, because it's an object, it's a file, it will let me open up Excel. And if I need to, just come down a bit, I can change the sheet tabs. So I can just click on the sheet tabs and they will all just change over like that. So it's only the first one I think that's got the graph on it. Um, there's no graph, there's it? just the data. But there you go, that's the object and a bit more flexibility with an object because you can do this and you've got a bit more scope. I'm just going to delete that one off. So that's different ways that you can bring um, an Excel file, the whole file, part of the file or elements of a file into a Word document. And just before I go, just so you know, you can also do that with charts. If I get this graph, just copy that graph and um, just paste it into this. It's exactly the same way as before. So there it is. And if I did paste special paste link, it would do exactly the same. It would update when the data changes in Excel. But that's it for now. So hopefully you've enjoyed that and thank you for your time.